Raccoon rescued after getting stuck in a sewer grate. Ah, uh, living the American dream. Shopping, shooting, and who can forget? Eating. The U.S. has gotten so gargantuan that even our animals are fat. Last week, the Zion City Police Department received a call about an animal in distress. Apparently, the raccoon, which we'll call Fats, has been living the life. Unfortunately, Fats hasn't hit the gym lately, so has put on some pounds. And that's why, when Fats was trying to get out of the sewer the other day, he got stuck. Officers were first on the scene and were unable to get Fats free, so they had to call in some public works guys to get the job done. Maybe it's all the gluten in Fats' diet. Can't get enough of raccoons? Keep watching. Raccoon freed after getting head stuck in drain. A raccoon found itself in a bit of a tight spot after a too tiny sewer grate got in the way of freedom. Folks at the Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Northampton, Massachusetts chanced upon the critter on Wednesday and figured he needed a hand. The little guy's head was poking out from a hole in a sewer grate and he looked absolutely distraught. So an animal control officer was called in to help him get unstuck. She lifted the metal grate out first, and then with some elbow grease and actual grease, finally managed to free him. The furry fellow looked like he was still reeling from shock when the officer wrapped him in a towel, but he was uninjured, just probably a lot oily. But ah, sweet freedom. Raccoon Family shows off its incredible teamwork skills. In the animal kingdom, it's all about teamwork. Video footage uploaded to LiveLeak shows one raccoon family working together to scale a wall. The footage starts out with a mother raccoon trying to push up one of her babies, while another baby is behind her, trying to lend a helping paw. The mother grabs the little guy but loses her grip on the little feller, causing him to drop back down. The baby starts to climb up the wall by itself, and that's when the mother grabs it by the back of the neck and starts to pull the little one up. With the mother holding on to the wall with her two back paws, she slowly backs up and finally helps the baby get over the hump. Mission accomplished. Raccoon decides to take the subway to work. Subway riders in the Big Apple had a little surprise last week when a pet raccoon hopped along for the daily commute. It looks like a woman was carrying the four-legged strap hanger in a black bag and jumped on an Uptown Six train. Video was posted by Brooke Hogan and then reposted again on the at Subway Creatures Instagram account, where it quickly went viral. The clip shows the ring-tailed bandit calmly hanging out with the woman and eating out of a plastic container. What's the weirdest thing you've witnessed on the subway? Teen shoots to internet fame for befriending family of raccoons. It's not easy being a raccoon. Food can be scarce, and when nature's cupboard is bare, what's a hungry bunch of raccoons to do? Luckily for a gaze of five raccoons in Seattle, they have a friend in 18-year-old Kayla Lynn, an aspiring singer and devoted feeder of raccoons. Lynn's bond with them began back in August of 2016, when a lone raccoon came by her home in search of food. The teen opened her fridge to the raccoon with offerings of bread and gave her the name Rosemary. Aww. After a while, Rosemary the raccoon started showing up with a few family members. Apparently, word of free food travels fast in the wild. And before long, Lynn found herself providing dinner for the hungry critters every night at 7.30 on the dot. The relationship was quick to catch fire on Twitter, garnering 22,000 retweets after Lynn's pics were posted on December 28th. While this friendly feeding may seem harmless, Others looking to befriend raccoons and other wildlife would be wise to keep in mind if raccoons get used to showing up at your door for handouts, it may hamper their foraging skills in the wild. Anyone offering food should probably only do it once in a while. Otherwise, the raccoons may not be so friendly the day you forget to leave their meals out. <laughs> 